Hi, my name is Christina Poston and I'm a preservation planner with the City of Columbia. And today I'm going to be talking briefly about the history and a little bit of the architecture in the Old Shandon Lower Waverly Protection Area. So this area really began um, with the development um, in 1890 when the Columbia Land Development Company and Investment Company um, bought two large tracts of farmland um, located in the southeast area of um, Columbia, which was really a rural area at this time. And it really established one of the first suburban neighborhoods within this area. The area really began to develop fairly quickly right away. And part of this was helped along by the electric trolley line that was put in along Gervais Street um, and which terminated within the middle of um, Lower Waverly and Old Shandon at what was called Valley Park at the time, which is now Martin Luther King Park. It's slowly started to decline in development um, in the next few years, but started to pick up again about the 19 teens and 1920s. And in 1913, both Lower Waverly and Old Shandon neighborhoods were annexed within the city limits. Again, development really started to be boosted by the development along um, what we call Five Points today. A lot of commercial businesses uh, located within this area really encouraged people to move into this residential section um, just located off of Five Points. Growth really continued through the 1940s and 1950s when it became more densely populated, um, especially right after World War II with a lot of single family residences. Um, really taking hold in this neighborhood. Uh, locally designated as a protection area until 2001, um, but it is one of our largest historic local districts today. Um, and just some quick fun facts about the Old Shandon Lower Waverly protection area. Um, like I said, Valley Park, which is kind of the border between uh, Lower Waverly and Old Shandon, um, which is now known as uh, Martin Luther King Park, really was a center of entertainment in the area since the, since the creation of, um, of the neighborhoods. Um, it was originally plotted on the original um, Columbia land investment maps, and it's been a kind of a staple of entertainment in the area. And um, also it was the terminus of the trolley line from Gervais Street, which really brought a lot of people into the community. So now I'm just going to run through uh, kind of briefly a couple of the main architectural styles that you'll see located scattered across the, um, the district. And one of the more common types that you'll see is the bungalow or the craftsman style home, uh, which can either be a one story bungalow or on occasion a two story uh, four square with the craftsman style detailing. Um, craftsman style homes or bungalows often feature um, a variety of detail. Uh, most commonly, they have large overhanging eaves with exposed uh, faux rafter tails or uh, knee braces or um, triangular braces along the, the gable ends. Um, most commonly, they have very decorative or detailed window styles. Um, so you'll see often a multi-pane window over a single pane window. So like a three over one or even an eight over one. Another style that you'll see really from the early period or development of the area is the, is the late Victorian. Um, and these are very eclectic styles. They're often very detailed. Some even call them like gingerbreading when they have a lot of spindle posts and verge boards along the porch lines, which is very decorative and very detailed in, in a lot of different aspects. All right, last but not least is the shotgun. Uh, form of house, um, which is one of my personal favorites. It's typically a more simplistic form of house, um, even though it can be styled a little bit more um, often with craftsman stylings or Victorian stylings. But what really gives it the name of a shotgun is that it's typically about one room deep with a hall located, located to the side. And each room off of that hall is located one directly behind the other. Um, and if you were to open the front door and the back door, you would be able to see straight through the house, which is what um, kind of lends the name shotgun because um, it's straight through like a shotgun. 
they're typically very small homes. Um, they are no more than 12 to 20 feet wide, though they can vary in length depending on how many rooms deep they are. And that is the last common style that you'll see within the Old Shandon Little Wave Relief Protection Area. Um, I hope you found this informative. And if you have any questions about the Old Shandon Little Wave Relief Protection Area or any of our districts, please feel free to reach out at preservation at columbiasc.gov.